Noivalette's finally here to judge all your enemies, and today I'll be teaching you how to build him best. My name is Juice, and that was the fresh squeeze. Let's get into it. Use the timestamps below if you only care for one section. So first, let's begin with his normals. On their own, they just deal three simple hits of hydro damage. Nothing too special, but his charged attack is where the pie is. His charged attack form, Equitable Judgment, turns my guy into a Blastoise since he begins firing off a huge Hydro Pump. This deals continuous AoE Hydro damage to enemies in front of him within a straight line. And get this, it won't consume any of Noivellet's regular stamina. This blast lasts for 3 seconds. This also makes him really susceptible to interruption, so make sure to wrap him up comfortably with a thick shield. His plunge is uh, what you'd expect. Now for his skill. He'll summon a giant waterfall which will deal AoE hydro damage to enemies in front of Noivellet based on his max HP. After this skill hits an enemy, he gains three source water droplets. Keep that in mind, it's important for later. His skill's main purpose is just to generate energy and these droplets. Hydro Traveler has source water droplets too. Noivellet is able to absorb the droplets they create, but Hydro Traveler plays like a Roblox game from 2008, so I do not recommend playing them together. Then for literal origin pulse. Dude evolved from a Blastoise into a Kyogre. Somehow, he'll look super cool for a moment and then unleash a huge wave which deals AoE Hydro damage based on Noivellet's max HP. After a little bit of time, Two more waterfalls will be summoned and deal some hydro DPS in a smaller AoE. This will generate six of his source water droplets. His burst is once again more just a utility burst crafted for the purpose of creating these source water droplets, as opposed to using them for their DPS. But since his burst generates so many for him, his burst is honestly pretty valuable for all his rotations. Okay, so what do these source water droplets do? Well, they help Noivellet recover his HP, of course. Nah, I'm just kidding, they do more than that. While they do heal him, they carry a much greater purpose of absorbing three at a time to reduce the cooldown of his charge attack from four seconds down to one second. The self-healing also isn't a joke, he sustains himself pretty well. Now for his passives. His A1 is interesting. When any of your teammates trigger any sort of hydro reaction on enemies, Nerd Village will gain a stack of past Draconic Glories. One stack will last for 30 seconds a pop, and every stack will increase the amount of DPS's charge attack does. Know that the majority of his DPS actually depends on this A1, so make sure to take advantage of it, otherwise his DPS falls off a cliff. His A1's also a multiplicative damage bonus like Yoimiya's or Honda Boy's skills. Know that this counts for every unique reaction featuring Hydro. The difference in Noivellet's performance is actually quite high if you're able to generate a lot of stacks for him. But don't force comps only for this mechanic if you have to sacrifice too much synergy in the process. You can have a max of 3 stacks, each producing this amount of a percentage buff. Pause if you want to read for longer. The duration of each of these stacks lasts independently. Then for his Sublime A4. Really nice synergy here, since for each 1% of HP that Nerdy has above 30% of his max, he'll gain a 0.6% Hydro Damage bonus. This bonus caps out at 30%. Just wait until we get an HP buffer, or until a teammate comes out for him which lets him abuse Hydro Resonance. Ooh, best Fontaine character! But alas, this A4 is not perfect. It might sound great on paper, but unfortunately in practice it's more of just a minor DPS increase. This is because you'll lose the buff when Noivellet heals himself at the beginning of his charged attacks. You need some external healing for this to work. Now for his talent priorities, I think it's pretty clear. Definitely focus on honing his normal attacks first and foremost. His charge attacks are the thickest portion of his damage, and while his other abilities are important too, if you're gonna crown any ability, make sure it's his Hydro Pump. As for combos, for Noivellet they're fairly straightforward. For reference, CA spam means constantly firing off charge attacks like it's nobody else's business. You'll pretty much just be aiming to keep his droplets up while charge attack spamming. Noivellet has a couple of artifact picks. Let's get into things. First up is 4-piece Mayonnaise Hunter. This is his best in slot by quite a large amount, and Noivellet is able to fully stack this set immediately with every charge attack after the first, as each source water droplet that heals him is considered one stack. The domain's also highly efficient. Unfortunately, it is pretty easy to overcap on crit rate. 4-piece Heart of Depth is your next best bet. It's his best non-mayonnaise option for all you ketchup enjoyers out there, and is strong boxable but it is significantly worse than 4-piece mayonnaise, especially with chips. 
So yes, you can use this, but I seriously implore that you only use this as a substitute until you fleshed out a full four-piece mayonnaise set for him. Four-piece Nymph's Dream by Association is also viable, and it is only a bit worse than four-piece HOD, but I really don't recommend it compared to four-piece Mayo. Four-piece Bolide of Zhongli and the team and four-piece Troop are on the same level as Nymph's, but... Okay, here, let me put it into perspective for you. Using these sets on Noivalet is the same as using two-piece Noblesse and two-piece Thundering Fury on Raiden Shogun instead of four-piece Emblem. Sure, it looks like it works, but it's nowhere near as effective and fluid as the best in slot option. Now for main stats, Noivlet actually has three separate routes you can go down. HP percent, Hydro Damage percent, Crit, HP percent, Hydro Damage percent, HP percent, and lastly, HP percent, HP percent, Crit. Let's start with the conventional choice of HDC, HP percent, Damage percent, and Crit. This is essentially always going to be Neuvelet's best in slot pick for main stats, but it's honestly by a small margin. That's because HDH, HP% percent, Damage% percent, HP% percent, is arguably nearly on the same level. It's highly competitive with the standard HDC build of his, but not if you're using a non-crit weapon on him while also not running 4-piece mayonnaise. Now for HCC, HP%, percent, HP%, percent, Crit%. Percent. This is generally not a great option on him, but it can become competitive if you're running a weapon on him which provides plenty more crit or damage percent than HP percent. For example, Ride of the Eternal Flow or Black Cliff Agate. Otherwise, don't bother. As for substat priorities, they are as follows. For ER requirements, if you're going to be playing Fischl with him, which you typically will be alongside another Electro with a Fav user in the party, his ER costs are around 120%, but in a much less specific ballpark, most teams of his will need him to have 125-135% to 135 ER to cover him. It's absolutely necessary to make sure that he bursts every rotation, so pay attention to your ER costs and don't neglect them like how Eula mains neglect her crit rate. Know that for every fav weapon in the team, his ER cost decreased by about 10%. Take a look at this trusty sheet here for exact ranking placements. So now you know all there is to his artifacts. It's time to explore his weapons. But before we do that, if you're enjoying the content, why not consider liking and subscribing, maybe even leaving a cool comment down below. If you do, you'll be sentenced to always winning your 50-50s. That's what the oratory says, my guy. Moving on. And now we take a close look into his ideal weapons. R1 at Tome of the Eternal Flow is Neuvelet's signature weapon, and it's no surprise that it's his best in slot. It provides everything he wants, tailor-made, for his kit. Crit damage, HP percent, CA damage percent, and energy. The energy that this weapon gives him for free literally lets him burst every rotation without any ER costs, which is crucial to getting source water droplets. Not only that, but you're able to invest in more of offensive stats then. It also scales pretty nicely with refinement, unlike most signature weapons. Looking at you, a thousand floating dreams. But this weapon's not flexible on many other units, so keep in mind that if you're pulling this catalyst, it's for him only. No surprise there. Now for Sacrificial Jade. This will be his second best pick regardless of whether you've got it R1 or R5, but it's competitive with his signature at R5. The crit rate and unconditional HP percent is also great, but note Neuvelet might overcap on crit rate fast with this pick. Now for his uh, only free-to-play friendly option. Yeah, this guy's a Hydro Dragon, of course he likes whales. Prototype Amber. It doesn't make him any stronger with refinements. That'd just be for survivability. It'll give him HP percent and energy, and will also allow him to burst every rotation without ER costs if you refine it enough. The weapon's passive can also heal chip damage off your teammates, since most Noivalet teams won't feature a healer of any kind. As for other picks, you're generally just not going to get better than this. Know that just about every other viable option is on the same level as Proto Amber, and that while Widziff is usable, two out of the three buffs it provides are useless for Noivy, so it falls off pretty hard in that case. Take a look at this splendid sheet here for a quick reference on where each of Noivalet's weapon up picks lie. Now, for teams, Noivalet's DPS, he deals chunky damage to his charge attacks, and deals emotional damage with extremely long prison sentences. So naturally, he'd enjoy a hyper carry team. This team will consist of Kazuha, his best animal buffer and grouper which provides him with everything he needs, Fischl for off-field damage and particle gen so he can burst more frequently, and then a shielder, preferably Zhongli, so you can avoid getting interrupted. With Kazuha, there's no other good animal VV unit that Noivala can take advantage of, only best girl Venti can be used here as a solid grouper in his comps. Other than that, units such as Lynette, Sucrose, and Jean, for example, will not work here. Fischl doesn't buff Neuvelet, but the energy she provides is really nice. She also slots well into really long rotations. Alternatively, for AoE scenarios, you can just pop Beto and Fischl slot to make sure to stack a bunch of ER on her so she can comfortably burst off cooldown. As for a shield or Zhongli is your best bet. 
Universal Registry, you can put a Favonius Lance on him, and he will be sufficient in protecting your Noivalet. Other shielders won't do as much for him here unless you can get them really tanky. Layla will work, but she's a bit of a cult pick. You can feasibly replace Vishal and Zhongli with buffers if you're able to manage, but unfortunately Noivy doesn't have many specific units to synergize with him as of now. We don't have a Bennett grade HP buffer for starters. So these are the most synergistic picks as of now. Also, for the future when Farina eventually drops, she'll probably become a part of Noivy's best in slot team, but in order to truly play them together while Noivalet still gets his three A1 stacks, you will need his C1. The biggest buff with his C1 is that you're able to play him on teams with another Hydro to get a Hydro Resonance buff mainly. For Taser for Ryans, replace Kazuha with the Eye or Beto and play them alongside Fischl with a Shielder in the last slot. Now for Hyper Bloom teams. This team takes advantage of Noivala's nice Hydro application to generate tons of blooms and Hyper Blooms. It's good in both AoE and single target. You can use most Dendro units, but Nahida would obviously be the top pick, DMC if you don't have her. Raiden and Kuki can be used for Hyper Bloom, and while Raiden offers shorter rotations and more range, I recommend using Kuki since she heals and isn't as big of an opportunity cost. Then a shielder like Zhongli again. If you're okay without a shield, then use an off fielder unit like Fischl who won't interfere with the Hyper Bloom reaction while still providing some solid value to the team. Another Nilu Bloom variant has risen. You don't change Noivalet's build here even though he's triggering a lot of blooms, but EM substats are no longer a waste anymore on Noivalet in teams with bloom. He's able to provide a ton of AoE Hydra application here. Nilu's the core of his team, so you obviously can't replace her, the heart of bloom itself. Use Nahida as your Dendro applicator since she's the only one who can keep up with this much Hydro, and a second Dendro character can keep Dendro auras on enemies, which is important when you're using Nahida. Since you need a healer here, the hideous Baiju is unfortunately your only option, but if you don't have him, then you can just use Kokomi or any of her Bloom Synergistic healer here. But Baiju's ideal, Noivalet National. Now this team won't beat Genji Internet, but it's still a solid pick for those interested. Thing is, you can't really control who vapes in this team, one will always overtake the other's aura. But this doesn't matter much since the team will end up doing the same amount of DPS regardless of whoever vapes. This is a nice AoE pick for him. Do you know that this negates Noivalet's range, since you have to play up close and personal with him to take advantage of his Hydro application? Shangling Impact deals decent personal DPS as you'd expect, and provides a ton of pyro application. Bennett is of course here to battery Shangling and provide her with a massive attack buff while keeping the team healed, a staple of any national team. But sadly, his attack buff does nothing for the completely HP scaling Noivalet. Run a shielder as always, or run Kazuha if you're able to use Noivalet without getting knocked over. You can also use flex slots such as Fischl to ensure that Shangling is the one vaporizing. Now let me quickly cover everyone else you can potentially partner up with Noivalet. Baby Girl Venti can trigger 4 piece VV, deal solid personal DPS, and group enemies closely so Noivalet's Hydro Pump can hit all enemies with his huge AoE. And with his passive, he can regen 15 energy to your teammates, including Noivalet if he absorbs Hydro with his burst. Abyss has also become very friend venti friendly as of late, but note that he's pretty much useless for Noivalet in single target scenarios. You can also assume that any of her 4 piece VV proccing Animo fares fine, but they're going to be useless for anything compared to the 5 star options. Moan is able to give a huge damage percent buff to Noivalet which lasts for 5 seconds, this is enough for one of his charge attacks, and you'll usually do about 3 to 4 of those per rotation, it's also long enough for you to pop a skill in there. She also gives Noivalet access to Hydro Res, which is very strong for him. Mona is great for those of you who want to max out his DPS potential and Hyper Carry Comp, but her ER requirements are huge, especially on longer rotations, and even more so if you expect her to cast her burst more than twice per rotation. Noivi's charge attacks can't proc Chick Cho or Yolanda's bursts, but the fact they give him Hydro Res and some energy is nice. You can weave their burst in to deal some extra single target DPS. Chink Cho also has a mini buff built in with the C2 shredding Hydro Res on enemies, and Yolan has that A4 ramping damage percent buff of hers. Noivalet is not free to play friendly. I'm sorry if that's tough news, but it's true. You really want to get those Source Water Droplet and A1 stacks of his, and you just can't afford to get staggered. So you either have to pull for Zhongli to prevent interruption, or you have to pull for a C1 to resolve this issue. C1 also becomes necessary if you hope to play him with Farina in the future. Either way, you have to pay the cost of another 5 star in order for him to be usable well. Now you've built your nerd village and want to take him to the next level. Let's see his comms. A nice damage and quality of life improvement and is necessary if you don't have Zhongli. Moving on. A straightforward DPS increase to his A1, nothing much more to say. Increases the level of his most important talent, a solid con. This con doesn't matter without C6, so don't bother unless you're going that far, Noivalet has enough droplets at C0. Not a huge DPS increase since his burst is a little insignificant to his DPS. This con can be really powerful to quite meh depending on your execution of his rotations, but not a bad C6. This guy's nuts. We can only imagine how strong he'll be with Farina when she drops, and as of now, his base power level is already super high, 
I definitely recommend him if you have the primos to invest in him and want the Hydra DPS. Hopefully this guy was able to build your judge like a king. This has been Juice, signing out, and I wish you all a justful day.